Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best LED TVs. Starting at number 5. TCL 65 inches. Sure, the LG G2 and Samsung S95C are the cream of the crop this year so far, but around $3,000 for either of those 65-inch panels can be a jagged pill to swallow. And even if you consider that the latest step-down 65-inch LG C3 OLED is still north of $2,000, may we present to you a TCL TV that has closed the performance versus price gap so thoroughly that it surprised us, the 2023 TCL QM8. With appeal to an extremely broad audience, the TCL QM8 sits at the top of TCL's new Q-Class flagship lineup with this 4K Mini LED CLED TV that runs Google TV. As we mentioned in the intro, 2023 has so far been all about brightness, something that TCL promises with the QM8 with its high brightness ultra LED backlight technology. So, it's bright then? Coming at number 4. LG 77 inch. The LG M3 wireless OLED has arrived to solve a problem that a lot of home theaters struggle with, having too many wires to run. When it comes to power cables, will always be reliant on a lead and power brick, at least for the foreseeable future, but as far as AV connections go, HDMI and digital optical, this is where TVs like the LG M3 are starting to change the game. In terms of picture quality, the M3 is pretty much toe-to-toe -to -toe with the amazing LG G3, our favorite OLED this year. But the true calling card feature is the M3's ability to wirelessly receive picture and sound from a broadcasting unit called the Zero Connect Box. The Zero Connect includes three HDMI ports that can push 4K at up to 120 Hz, and the second port is eARC slash ARC compatible, digital optical, Ethernet, two USB-A, and an output for an IR blaster. And as long as the transmitting device is in range of the M3 TV's receiver, you'll be able to enjoy wireless audio and video. Do keep in mind that if you're planning on using a soundbar, you'll want to have the Zero Connect located fairly close to the TV, Otherwise, you probably won't have enough cord length to place the soundbar under the M3. At number 3. Samsung 65-inch. For 2023, Samsung has pushed forward with its stellar flagship Quantum Dot OLED TV, moving the S95 B up the alphabet to its next generation, the off-the-charts S95C. As we mentioned in our intro, after reviews of the LG G3 and Samsung S95C, both TVs are so good that flipping a coin would be the best way to choose. But let's get into the Samsung S95C. First off, the S95C is every bit as good as the S95B, which is still on our list below, but improves on it with better brightness, sleeker design, and better features. In fact, Denison calls the S95C the best TV Samsung has ever made. Although it doesn't come with a wall mount like the LG G3, the all-metal stand mount is sturdy, stable, and leaves enough space for a soundbar underneath, but more importantly, it cradles the S95C's one connect box that was once only found with Samsung's 8K QLED TVs. One of the main differentiators from the LG G3, the one connect box is a rather ingenious solution for messy and awkward cables at the back of your TV as it puts all those connections in a separate sleek box that connects to the TV with one cable. Number 2 of my list LG G3 OLED EVO With Samsung and Sony's QD OLED TVs from last year stealing some of OLED's thunder for their ability to hit on both the perfect blacks that OLED is known for and the high brightness and pure colors of QLED, it left many TV aficionados wondering how OLED would respond. The 2023 LG G3 OLED is that response, and as Denison says in his review, wow! Just, wow. Denison was also thoroughly blown away by the equally impressive Samsung S95 CQ OLED that we'll get into more below, but here we'll also point out some of the differences between our two top picks. The first of LG's TVs in the US to brandish LG's new microlens display, MLA, and Brightness Booster Max technology, LG's new OLED panels deliver better brightness, better viewing angles, and better energy efficiency than their previous TVs, with the LG G3 pumping out between 1,450 and 1,520 peak nits in our testing. In short, 
you no longer need to look to QLED or QDOLED, like the Samsung S95C, if maximum brightness is a key buying point for a new TV. That, and you also get those perfect, deep black levels that LG's OLED panels are famous for, now it doesn't matter whether you put this TV in a dark basement living room or a sun-soaked main floor family room. And number 1. Sony A95 LQD OLED. For those of you familiar with our video content, you'll know that our own Caleb Dennison is quite the discerning TV expert. So when Mr. Dennison says that the Sony A95 LQD OLED is the best TV he's ever reviewed, you know you're in for some seriously good picture, sound, and other features. And yeah, Sony's 2023 flagship is a totally killer TV, that just so happens to be equipped with cutting-edge QD OLED display tech. For those unaware, QD OLED stands for Quantum Dot Organic Light Emitting Diode. What we've got here is an OLED backbone, complete with a screen that contains self-emissive pixels. But on top of that, there's also a layer of quantum dots built into the A95L, which does wonders for overall color and peak brightness levels, not to mention the supremely wide color gamut you'll get to experience. Those are just the fundamentals though, with Sony giving us plenty more to love about this phenomenal TV. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.